Hello, I am Ahmad and in this video we are going to continue the calculation of rigid connection of a beam connected to a column with an end plate. In the previous video we calculated the compressive resistance of the uh, beam in the flange and web when they are in compressive side. Now we are going to check column web panel in shear. Let's do it. So here is the definition of our example. We have two columns, HEB300. We introduced it in the last video. And means are HEA200. The distance center to center of the columns is 7 meter. As a result, the net length of the beam is 6668 millimeter. The height of the column is 3 meters for each uh, level and it is supported rigidly to the ground. Also, the detail is given here as we are familiar with this after these videos that we had. Now, finally, we are checking the item number one component is column web panel in shear and design resistance is given in plus 6261. If you look at uh, item 6261, column web panel in shear, the design methods given in 62612 and the design methods given in 62612 to 14 are valid provided the column web slenderness satisfies the condition D divided by TW less than 69 epsilon. So there is a modification coming in the modified version uh, paragraph one replace d over tw with dc divided by tw dc is the net height of the column web how it is calculated so dc is height minus two times tf minus two times r so for us 300 millimeter for HEV 300 minus 2 times TF is 19 millimeter minus 2 times 27 millimeter, which will be 300 minus 2 times 19 minus 2 times 27, 208 millimeter. And web thickness is 11 millimeter. Now we can check DC divided by TW is 18.9. Epsilon is a square root of Fy divided by 235 megapascal, which is 0 0.81. So this value will be 56. It means that we can go forward. Item number two for a single sided joint or for a double sided joint in which the beam depths are similar, the design plastic shear resistance VWPRD of an unstiffened column web panel subject to a design shear force VWPED that should be taken from 533 should be obtained using this equation. So 0 0.9 times Fy AVC divided by a square root of 3. So first let's calculate VWPRD. 4743 is the shear area of the column 875 kilonewton. This is the resistance. We have to check also the design value. So the design value is given in Eurocode 1993-18 modeling of beam to column joint. Uh, item number three, the resulting shear force VWPED in the web panel should be obtained from this equation. So we know that we do not have any MB2, VC2. We have only MB1 and VC1. You can check also from the given figure that we had earlier here. You can see that we have only from one side. So we do not have MB2 and VB2. MB1 ED is the design value of bending moment coming from one side. As far as the bigger the value of VWP would make it uh, in the worst case, then we can assume that the maximum capacity of the connection is achieved by a completely rigid connection. It means that it's not a partial rigid, it's completely rigid. If we have a beam which is completely rigid in both sides with the length of L under the value, the load of Q, M will be Q L squared divided by 12. So here, as I mentioned, this uh, 
Example will be under two loads 15 and 20 kN per meter. If we go with 20 kN per meter, which is breather times 6.668 meter square divided by 12. So it will be 26.668 divided by 12 and it will be 74 kN meter. It means that if our connection is 100% rigid then the maximum bending moment that it can be transferred through a, a fully rigid beam will be 74 kilonewton meter so this can be taken for for now as med and ved is ql divided by 2 20 kilonewton meter times 6.668 meter divided by 2 66.7 kilonewton from here we can calculate ve vwped the only missing parameter is Z is the levier arm that is taken from 6 to 7. In class 6 to 7, there is a table that you can use in figure 615. We have this table and type of connection is given. Here, this is the relevant connection that uh, is matched with what we have here bolted extended end plate connection with only two bolt rows active in tension most likely this is the most relevant case to our task here center of compression in line with the mid thickness of the compression flange levier arm conservatively z may be taken as the distance from the center of compression to a point midway between these two bolt rows so we just need to find out the distance between the center of compressive flange to the midway between the first two bolt rows this line represents the center of the bottom flange as the center of compression and here will be the center of or midway of between these two bolts so here we have z the height of the beam is 190 and we have 40 millimeter here so up to this center it will be 190 plus 40 230 millimeter 40 millimeters from the top so here we have 45 millimeter. now from 230 millimeter we need to reduce 5 millimeter because of the beam flange thickness and also 45 millimeter down to the midway of two bolt rows so it will be 180 millimeter taken as Z. Now we have MB1, we have Z and we have VED that we can come back and calculate VWPED. MB1 ED, 74 kilonewton meter divided by 180 millimeter minus 66.7 kilonewton divided by 2. So it's 378 kilonewton. Coming back to our capacity, VWPRD is 875. Now we can calculate the utilization ratio for this check, 43%. That's the end of this video. We went through the column web panel in shear. You need to have design value according to the shear force and bending moment which are taken by the connection. And according to that, you can check the uh, capacity here with the full rigid assumption of the connection uh, the utilization ratio is 43 percent most likely this connection is not counted as a fully rigid connection the next video we will continue with the overall checking of the components and also going through the items given with Eurocode thank you for watching see you next time bye